Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial on how to create these glowing tendrils with these bands behind them and yeah it's pretty easy so let's start. Here's your basic blender scene. First what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a sphere. The shape doesn't matter much. What we're gonna need is a simple hair system. We don't need as many hairs as these. I think 20 are okay for now. I think I used 20 in the prior image. What we need are hair dynamics and we need children. What we don't need is we don't want to show the emitter and I don't need to see the emitter. So this is pretty fine. I need a few children particles to the hair particles. Let's say 20 rendered and 20 displayed. And this is a pretty good start. So what I'm going to do next is we need to clump them together at the end. So I clump them together here and make that very thin. So we go close to negative one and clump them to full one. And we already have an yeah, interesting shape. I go a bit back with the camera and we need a few more segments to turn this to 32 segments. There's not much happening here right now but this is the basic setup what we need next is a force i'm gonna use a turbulent force and i'm gonna use a very high strength because a very high turbulence force means the the hairs are gonna wobble around a lot so let's say strength of 500 Increasing the flow to maximum value led to better results in my opinion and now I press play we will see two things are happening So we see them wiggling around, but we also see them trying to turn down and one thing I want to change is In the field weights, we don't want gravity so back to the first frame and Let them wiggle around a bit and I'm pressing render. Yeah, they're wiggling around. They don't look great because we are in the wrong render engine. We need cycles for this. And already you can see the hair already does looks, looks much better. It has is more curvier and cycles. The hair looks pretty great, pretty fine, pretty nice. Yeah, this is interesting. It's not great, but it's interesting. I'm removing the light in shading. I want the hair to glow so I set the emission to yeah, 4 in a slight bluish color and we are already getting somewhere I don't need any light from the world so it's getting better and better with every step clumping they are still they are still too thick in my opinion so in the children setting in the clumping let's make them even thinner let's go to near minus one and now you can see we are already very close to the initial image initial image so what is missing is the that, that mysterious center and the glow they kind of have this will just take a few seconds we add another sphere this already looks much nicer than before but what I do with the sphere is um, I'm adding a glass shader increase the roughness to 0 0.5 and you see this already with every parting step looks more and more interesting but it doesn't have this mysteriousness in it so what I am doing next is I'm adding a layer weight. I think it was facing into the IOR and getting this to 0 0.95. The index of refraction changes the more it goes inside and this makes this kind of black hole effect. There are many tutorials out there upload black holes. They use a similar effect like this to make the light bend towards the inside. I'm not sure if this explanation is right, but it has to do for now. So excuse me if I told you anything wrong, but yeah. Now, making this a bit bigger, so now it looks like a sea urchin. So let's run the simulation again. 
can see it, it wiggles around. Now we need the light trails. We're gonna use motion blur. So let's render this with motion blur. And you already can see the slight light trails. But we want more. We want more light trails. So what I'm gonna do is I increase the shutter. It only lets me go to one, but I need more. So let's say shutter is six seconds long. Um, it's the time, you know, it's the time in the time taken in frames, not in seconds. It's six frames. So let's take six to eight frames for the shutter before it opens and closes. Now I'm rendering again, and you see we have better light trails. Um, let's go back to the start, animating again, giving it a bit more time to generate blurriness, to generate more frames, more frames, more frames. And around 220 I stopped. And I'm not sure why the trails are not as, as long as I want them. They should be longer. So let's see, what else can we do? We can increase um, to see more. It's always faster in the in, in this viewport setting. So let's check the turbulence force again. Maybe add some noise. This might help sometimes and increase the strength. So they are wiggling around stronger. Yeah, I just think I need more strength. So let's put this to 2000 and it wiggles around much faster. The faster it wiggles, the more blur we get or the better the light trail effect is going to be. Okay, so let's render again. Okay, this is weird and unexpected. Um, let me check. This looks fine. This looks fine. We have no gravity. Let's just cache it for a bit longer or maybe I'm gonna add more segments and I'm gonna increase the length because with more length we have more more wiggle room. Oh, 600 segments might be too much. Let's make 64 so we still can simulate it. And yeah, now we can see it wiggles a bit more because we have more more segments where it can wiggle. We have frame 220. 180 so frame 300 this should be enough and yes this is this is much better you can see we are already closer with the light trails but it's a bit dark a bit too dark so let's go back into the shading editor in the emission strength it's double the emission strength and yep yeah, now we now we have them. Now we have the mysterious tendrils with some light flares. I post-process this image a bit more so we get more of a glow effect and highlighted the tendrils. So um turned the blacks a bit more down and brightened the, the brights a bit more so it just enhanced the effect. But yeah, this is everything we need. So when you increase the light strength, you will get, of course, a stronger lighting effect and a stronger light trail effect and when you increase the number of segments you will get less edgy segments the longer the longer your hair is the more segments you need to get this nice uh, curvy shape so one more thing if you want it a bit more guided not with the turbulence it's fine it's it's a nice effect but sometimes you need something more guided so let me create this shape, um, array it into a radial area. I just want three of them. So turning them a bit up. And now I want these to be my force field. And instead of a turbulence, this time we are using a force. And what I do now is force. I just leave it like this. So to that so that you can see what it what it does. It pushes it pushes the the hair down. Works like expected. These just push the hair down. So if I put this to minus five hundred, it should attract the, the hair. And yep, it does attract the hair. 
but it's the only attracted to the center and I want the hair to be attracted to these um, ball shapes. So instead of point, I set it to surface, back to frame one, play and the hair is attracted. This is a bit funny, but I think this will lead to a very interesting effect, this chaotic one. Let's press render. Yeah, you see you can create interesting shapes very fast, very easily. Let's get a bit bit more back with the camera so we actually can see things. Rotate them a bit so we can see something. Cancel the render and yeah, <laughs> it's a bit chaotic. So maybe I increase the distance a bit and it is still chaotic. Maybe let's check the force again. Oh yeah, it's the flow parameter. When you set the flow parameter, it's get, it, it will get less chaotic, but this is also pretty nice. But let me show what happens when I increase the flow to 10. So back to frame one, simulating again. And now you see kind of the, the tendrils kind of pet the balls. <laughs> so, and when they did it for a few seconds, we get this this nice effect and yeah I think this is everything I, uh, you need to create this little effect I discovered it by accident and I also like this shader trick in the center so feel free to copy whatever you saw feel free to tell me what you like what you didn't like and yeah hopefully see you next time bye